Okay, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the rigid bodies again and we'll work through a scenario using dominoes that fall on top of each other and create patterns. And we're going to look at it from the perspective of a programmer. So I've been a programmer for many years and the one thing you learn to do as a programmer is to modularize everything. And I'm going to show you how that really can enhance your workflow if you want to try and build a really large project. Because right, you don't want to start stacking up one domino at a time and turning them a little bit and as you go. So if you do a little planning in advance, then that can really pay off in the long run. So here's my basic shape of a domino that I have. And in order to make this work, for starters, I have to take this plane. I'm going to make this a passive plane. So over here, under my, where my rigid bodies, let's see, rigid body tools here. i got to make that passive. And I have to make this active here like this all right so and I do that in advance so I can copy it to another object so let's say in the most basic case you could use an array modifier for this next step but I've done other lessons on array modifiers we'll just hand step through this I'll look at it from above real quick and I'll just do shift dy and make it kind of a basic copy to here and let me look at it here uh, they look a little bit too close to each other they don't need to be that close so maybe about like that all right, so there's my general spacing, and that's where the array modifier would come into play. But I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. I'm just going to kind of give you an idea of where I'm heading with this. So I'm going to do Shift E Y. I'm just going to eyeball these for this particular lesson. Shift E Y. You can use the array modifiers. If you look at my playlist for rigid bodies, I show you how to do it. All right, so I've just made these five dominoes in a row and I'm going to use those and I know those will end up falling if I put another animated something over here in the scene and the nice thing is they they all have the rigid body parameters set on it since this one was set in advance well so what I tend to do is I'd put maybe put five of these like this and then maybe I'd go collect them all like this select them here and then I'll press control G and I'll group them I'll put them in a separate group and I'll put you know, here's the name of my group right here, and I'll put uh, Dominoes 5 Straight, you know, something like that. All right, or maybe even better than that, let's do it like this. We'll just move it 5 Green Straight Dominoes. Right, this is how I would work typically. I would, you know, now have these organized as a separate group. Well, that's powerful in and of itself. Okay, so now let's, I'm going to get another group, and maybe I'll just, I'll use this one here, and I'll make a copy, Shift D, and I'll set it in place. Now, it's also part of that group all of a sudden, but I don't want a part of that group for this next case. So I'm going to go here to Object Group and Remove Selected from the Active Group. So now it's its own separate object. And I'm just going to move that, say, over here on the x-axis a little bit. Maybe way out here like this. I'm going to make another group of something. Right? But before I do, maybe I'll press U and give it its own material. So I'll just give it a new color. Maybe red or orange. There's red. All right. So now this is going to be in a new group. I'm going to move my cursor back to the center. Shift S. Cursor to the center. In this case, maybe I'll do a rotation of these dominoes instead. So I'll look at it from above. Same thing, I'll change my cursor pivot to the 3D cursor. And then here I'm going to do, say, Shift D, R, Z, 1, 5. Nope, that's, I'll do R, Z, 1, 0. Now that looks like it'd probably be enough. for Because I want this to do a curve. All right, and then I'll left click, and then I'll do Shift D, R, Z, Z 1, 0. Shift D R Z one zero. I mean it's Shift D R Z one zero. Shift D R Z one zero. Zero. Just keep repeating this. And maybe that's actually too much. I don't actually want that last one when I think about it. So because I want to be able to just put these in groups and you'll see what I mean in a second. So I'll delete that one and then actually what I forgot to do in the first case was I forgot to turn that into a active so it didn't copy it but that's easy enough I'll just make these all. Well actually there's a way you can do it. 
you can go say well you can do it with materials actually I don't know if you can do it with rigid bodies so now I'm going to get these guys all selected and the great thing about this is it's like well it doesn't seem like I'm getting anywhere but actually I'm getting very far by doing things in advance as a programmer this really pays off down the road this is how we work I mean it's programming it's this is kinda of like programming so I'm gonna take these and I do control G and I'll call these let me see one two three four that's nine but maybe I'll say that's a 90, deg 90 degree red dominoes like this and that's in a group like that alright so the beauty of this approach is alright let me take this and I'll just scale this thing up a little bit here is the beauty of this is I can come over here and grab this thing right here and say press shift G and grab that group of dominoes like that and there it is in the group and then maybe I'll just move it say G shift Z and just move it up to here like this so now suddenly I'm building red and green dominoes with these groups and I could since this is a group I could just make a copy of that group. Maybe I'll just say Shift D. I'll press it in place. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll rotate it 90 degrees. So R, Z, 90. Oops, better not do that. Hang on. Control Z. I, well, that would actually work, but I'll, I'll rotate it around its median point instead. So R, Z, 9, 0. Like this. And maybe I'll just move it over here. and move it up like that like that but now suddenly one thing you have to remember is since I just copied that that adds that to that group so if I want shift G select group like that 90 degree it's actually added them all to the group so you want to make sure you want to deselect that from the group if you continue but anyway you can see what I've done I'm able to just suddenly add those things together easy enough and you can make all these predefined colors and bends in advance you'd spend about an hour and you'd have all these basic parameters preset for you and then building is just a matter of taking a whole bunch of chunks together and adding them together and then to make the dominoes fall of course let's just take this one here now we need to do that let me just press shift s in the cursor to the selected so it's in that general vicinity and then I'll do shift a and maybe add a sphere to the scene right here just slide it over I'll move it up just a little bit I'm gonna do this manually I'll make it active since I want to move this I need to go into the rigid body effects over here and make it animated alright now we're ready to go should be ready to go so if I just press alt a the scenario should start running it's active and if I take this and just slide it over and hit that let's see if they work well there they go alright so that kind of gives you a pretty good idea you know how you can work in advance and just set everything up then you could build huge cool designs because I'm not really a great artist but for those of you who are illustrators or really love this kind of stuff it really pays off nope, I better move, if I can move that just about there each time it'll just fire it off each time you can see if I start it over again it'll just fire it like that all right. Well, I hope that gives you some ideas about building a cool scenario of lots of cool things. You can make a great masterpiece of work in an evening if you really worked at it, or maybe a week. Okay. All right. That's for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.